Well, another great day on the road, huh, babe? It's rain, cold, well, hot. Yeah, and... you know, we left uh, Dallas, Texas, left Lollapalooza. We're heading east, and we are now in Minden, Louisiana. We are at the Caney Lake Recreational Area, and we are Beaver Dam Campground. So we're going to do a one-nighter here. They got electricity. We didn't know how hot it was going to be over here. And right now it's about 70 degrees. Not too bad. No. But we wanted to have power just in case something got weird. 25 hours a night to camp here. You can reserve, they say, on recreation.gov. Uh, but we tried and we couldn't do it. But they do keep some sites open first come first service here. We are in spot number nine. And uh, we met the camp host, very nice camp host and when we came in. We're north of Minden, Louisiana, so we're about, I don't know, five, six miles north. But the uh, uh, camp host, really great. He said that he keeps, today it was spot seven, eight, and nine were open. He'd have to wait for the big boss to call him to let him know if there's anything got reserved. So we also use my geezer lifetime pass for the national uh, the beautiful for yeah america the beautiful i'm sorry okay we're up here national, uh, whatever america the beautiful america lifetime the beautiful. senior pass <laughs> so that gave us uh ten dollars off so it was only 15. so for tonight we'll live in creature comforts uh, man this is back-to-back -back times we paid for campgrounds we're really getting spoiled here we're still under 200 dollars for the year that's right no we're, we're right at 200 now well, that's including the LTVA in, in, uh, yeah, in Quartzite. Quartzite. Otherwise, well, it's 180. Yeah, yeah, wouldn't even be that. It's uh, yeah, close to that. But anyway, we're going to stay here for the night. Then we're going to head east, uh, get over to, uh, I think we're going to Meridian, Mississippi next. We are. Now, we don't, once we're over there, we're there for two days. We may stay longer because, once again, here comes another tropical storm and hurricane coming up Louisiana by New Orleans. So we don't know where it's going to go. We're inland about 250 miles, but we don't know what the weather's going to be like. Wind, rain, tornadoes. So we may hold up over there longer before we drop down <clears throat> to over to the uh, Baton Rouge area. Yeah. So we're going to stay here tonight. Enjoy it. We got some chicken spaghetti. Is that what it is? And we're going to enjoy that with some fellow uh, RVers and uh, have a good Call night. Day. <laughs> we don't have much cell service out here, barely. No, none. Uh, I wouldn't count on cell service with Verizon at least. And that's with my booster. But I got lucky on my satellite. So at least we can watch a little TV if we choose. Yep. But anyway, one nighter and then we'll get back on the road. That's right. Here we are. Site number nine. See, it's got the little open sign on it down there. Looked pretty level. It was easy to back in because like it is around a curve. So you got plenty of room to back in. They're asphalt, grass. Unlike the mud that was at uh, Cedar Hills Campground, that was nasty. Well, if it's because it rained, I mean, it wouldn't have been nasty. If it, well, it's it Texas, bad. they're going to rain on yeah, it. They should put some rain. gravel around it. You, you couldn't even take your water and sewer watch. off and cord. It was it was not that good, but we we survived. That's right. But this is a nice little spot. And Keep, they're all like 50 feet long. Yep. So you can get any rig in here. Yeah. We haven't I mean, seen any problem why you couldn't get a 45 foot class A in here. We could get Maddie in here. Yep. Some of them may be challenging because of some trees, but this one you could get anything in without a problem. Yep. So site number nine. Truck's doing good. Stopped at the Bucky's, had a great time, got a great sandwich at the Bucky. <laughs> Diesel's running $2.20. Uh, wasn't they, Most wasn't. of the truck stops. And then uh, it was $1.76 at Bucky's over in Terrell, Texas. And over here, it's about like a buck eighty-five, buck eighty-nine at the mom and pops off the road. But we haven't seen what our, our fuel car discount is going to be at Love's. I'll find that out tomorrow. But anyway. Got chicken spaghetti warming up, and we're gonna sit back and chill out for a while. All right, we're gonna give this uh, campground a shot. It's Twilkley Branch Campground out here on the Okatibi Lake. This is a 
uh, U.S. Army Corps of Engineer part, and it's costing us nine dollars a night. And coming up here to the entrance gate, where you get all checked in, and they get you your spots. Kim, here we are again at another campground. Yeah. And we think we may have dodged a bullet. We won't know till after tonight. Sure. On Hurricane Beta. Beta. Get the name right. Oh, I thought we were back down on B's already. The name of the hurricane, though, is Z E T A. Oh, I thought we were on Beta. No. The name of it is Zeta. That's the name of the hurricane. Oh. All right. <laughs> well, so anyway, we got a bunch of rain up here. We're in Mer north of Meridian, Mississippi. And we got these camped down for a couple days. It's not bad. There's some characters down there that are stalking us. Of course, that's the uh, nomadic ramblers down there. They're on their way to Florida so they can go vote, get some medical things done, see some grandbabies. Yep. We're going to stay here Everybody's another night. And then this spot was already reserved for the weekend. They got a big holiday weekend. And it's just everything's wet up here. Yeah. Hopefully it'll dry off where the kids can have a good time. But we're gonna go down here. We have to, to get a 15. Now. Site 15, no big deal. It's easy to move. We won't be going far. But man, these Corps of Engineers, it's costing us nine dollars a night because we're using our America the Beautiful Senior Pass. That's right. Sometimes it's good to be old. <laughs> so regular, it's eighteen dollars. We got it half off for nine dollars. That's electricity and water. Yeah. And yeah. And uh, and believe it or not. 74 degrees and 71 percent humidity we ain't used to that so yeah. we'd be running that air conditioner and try to dry it out a little bit yeah it's but it's a nice out. little park and it's got a beautiful lake over here on the other side i'm not going to try to pronounce it but uh man it's just it's just a great spot we're really going to start using these yeah they're really engineer parks. if you need if you have to stay in a place i mean this is very reasonable the sites are far enough away that it was very quiet. Yep, very quiet. Last night there's a street light right there. Of course we will be that in lit that. up this area. Our bedroom window, thank you. But that's all right. It didn't bother yeah. me none. But we made it through. Yep. But there's no pines in here. It's all hardwood, so we feel pretty secure. And we checked all the trees around us, so with the storm coming in tonight, uh, it wouldn't blow anything over. But anyway, we're gonna get everything secured. We took everything from the outside and put it inside so it wouldn't blow away. But I think it's going to skirt around to the south of us. We it shall see. <laughs> Let's go inside. All right. Catch up with you later. Well, we made it to another morning. Thank the Almighty above. We have moved down to Site 15 as the sites up here are booked for the weekend. Getting ready for their big Halloween festival they have out here. So I'm sure that's going to be fun. We have this one for one night. So we'll stay here one night and we'll start heading south heading towards Baton Rouge, New Orleans, somewhere down there. But uh, uh, just temporarily set it up, didn't unhook or nothing. So we'll pull out tomorrow morning. The uh, lake is beautiful, the sun is shining. Um, really a really nice park. Some of these are a little bit tight to get into. So when you're picking your uh, rigs out uh, to uh, camp here, Make sure you look at the spot really well. Just because it says it's 50 feet doesn't mean you're going to be able to get into it because some of these trees are real close, you know, to where you got to get in. So pay attention, like always. We're going to stay here another day, enjoy the uh, beautiful weather. Storm came through last night at uh, 9 o'clock when we went to bed. It was just uh, just coming over New Orleans. But I got up at one o'clock to check on things and the storm had already blown up up into Tennessee So it moved pretty fast. So I don't know if this other jet stream is going to come in today or what But anyway, we're gonna make a great day of it sit. We're gonna grill a steak out here today Enjoy the full-time RV life and uh, We'll catch up with you soon